the Assyrians, 1900 to 612 BC. While Babylonia ruled southern Mesopotamia, the warlike Assyrians dominated the north. Their kingdom lay in the valley of the upper Tigris River. King Adanirari I, the country's first powerful leader, enlarged the Assyrian lands and took the boastful title King of Everything. He and his successors were fierce dictators who did not allow individual states to be independent. Assyria grew rich through the activities of its trading families who sold textiles and metals far and wide. Collapse and rebirth. As Assyria grew in size, rebellions by its conquered subjects increased. Eventually, Assyria fell to the Hurrians, relatives of the Hittites. The Hurrians dominated Assyria for over 250 years. As their overlordship dwindled, Assyria grew in strength again. Its next period of greatness lasted for 300 years. It reached its height under Tiglath-Pileser I, who led many campaigns against neighboring lands. Assyria eventually dominated the whole region, including Babylon. Ashurbanipal's Palace The Assyrian king was an absolute ruler with a very active involvement in all matters of state. In his magnificent palace, Ashurbanipal, surrounded by his advisors, heard the cases presented by the people. The palace was large, with extensive gardens. As a patron of learning, the king ordered many historic records from Babylon and Sumer to be written down, and texts on mathematics, chemistry, and astronomy were produced. Literary texts such as the Epic of Gilgamesh and the story of the Flood from Akkadian times were also recorded. All these were destroyed by invaders after Ashurbanipal's death, though many records survived. Assyria flourishes. From about 1076 BC, Assyria and Babylonia were overrun by the Armenian tribes from Syria. But 150 years later, Ashurdan II and his successors reconquered the Assyrian Empire. The capital was moved to Nineveh, and buildings were erected and irrigation schemes undertaken. Assyrian kings expanded their lands to control all trade routes and suppress troublesome neighbors. The Assyrian Empire was at its greatest under Tiglath-Pileser III, when it included the lands of Babylon, Babylon, sorry, Syria, Palestine, Cyprus, Northern Arabia, and Egypt. Assyrian life. The Assyrians were great builders and erected magnificent cities, temples, and palaces. The men wore long coat-like garments and were bearded. Women wore a sleeve tunic and a shawl over their shoulders. It was not unknown for men to sell their wives and children to slavery to pay off debts. The Final Chapter The last great ruler of Assyria was King Ashurbanipal. He was a scholarly king, and during his reign he created a huge library at Nineveh, his capital. The ancient records of Sumer and Akkad were preserved on clay tablets, together with literature and histories, mathematics, and his astronomy from ancient times. When Ashurbanipal died in 627 BC, the Assyrian Empire fell to the Babylonians and the Medes.